Can I help you, Edward? Yeah, I'm here for the early bird special. Are those new slacks? What's that now? Are those new slacks? I got these on special at Caldor. Who drove you there? My nephew. Ah, oh, that was nice of him. I forgot why I came over. Are those new slacks? Sorry to intrude. I just wanted to let myself into your private residence. Huh. Nobody's home. Nobody's home? Principal party! Now, when I was a young boy, <laughs> at the age of five, <laughs> my mother stopped gonna be <laughs> the greatest <laughs> man alive. Put this on. Why? Because I'm skipping my physical to go have steaks with the guys, and I don't want Lois to know about it. Um, okay. Lois, I'm going to my physical now. Okay, honey, I'll see you later. Um, what, what the hell, I'll just ask it. Why do we need the horse suit for that? What? The female power to belittle is such that the recipient can physically shrink in stature. That's why husbands and wives are the same height in old age. Lois, berate me. Okay, Peter, but if I do this, I really gotta do it. Do it. For starters, you're a failure. Ah! You didn't go to college, Daddy pays our mortgage, and you're a terrible husband and father. Ouch! Your whole life is a pattern of hateable noises. Oh. The way you chew a banana makes it sound like it's filled with bones. Ouch! I loathe the little wheeze at the crest of every breath you take. Yikes! I hate the one story you tell at every cocktail party about almost meeting John Kerry. That's a good story! You didn't even meet him! Almost. Your eyeglass lenses have been smudged for 19 years. Ah, crap. Everyone hates it when you see fireworks and you announce, this is a finale. Please stop. Pink Floyd is multiple guys. He is? You're so predictable. I know every word that's going to come out of your mouth before you even say it. Boulder Dash. Heavens. Heavens. Stop, stop that. that. I, I worked for Purelator Courier before, before they, they went, went bankrupt. bankrupt. Appearance. <laughs> Intelligence. <laughs> Penis size. <laughs> Thing. Well, Lois, you are a master. Hey, guys, let's play a party game. Let's go stand over near Brian, and we'll take a drink every time he says bonerific. Bonerific? Yeah, it's his catchphrase. He says it all the time. Yeah, sure, okay. I'm in Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> hey, hey, Brian, how are you feeling tonight? Good. Having a nice time. Are you feeling terrific, or any variation on that word? Oh, sure. No complaints. My skin's a little dry. He's not saying it, Peter. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, why would I say that? It's not even a word. What isn't a word? Bonerific. Ah! Did I tell you? You can't keep this guy from saying it. Lois, can I please see you in Joe's kitchen? Don't you mean our kitchen? No, they have better snacks. So, Meg's boyfriend. Interesting choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I know Joe has Cheez-Its. I saw him eating them earlier. Where the hell are they? You're not gonna find them. I was eating a bunch of them, and I jokingly said, Bonnie, hide these. And she did. She hides my food so I don't get bored like a zoo polar bear. Good luck. They could be anywhere. We'll do a show for people with no attention span. We'll call it the Six Second Talk Show. Well, I guess that could work. All right, Six Second Talk Show in three, two. I'm Peter Griffin, and this is the Six Second Talk Show. My guest tonight is Joe Biden. And that's all the time we have. Thanks for watching. Good night. How was that? Yeah, it kind of dragged. Well, Congress is at it again. Good night. It's the Six Second Talk Show. And now, your host, here. Welcome to the Six Second Talk Show. I'm Peter Griffin, and now our musical guest, Bare Naked Ladies. Get spin. I'd like to thank our musical guest, Bare Naked Ladies. Good night. Ah, ah, ah. Look, look, do you like it? Yes. What do you like about it specifically? I don't know. Pick something or I'll blow your brains out. I like how it looks like an owl. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> hey, Peter, you want to earn another ten bucks? Of course I do. Great, I got a hilarious one. 
I'll give you $10 for your L4 vertebrae. So, uh, I guess this means, Peter, you're our Joe now, and Joe, you're our Peter. That means you gotta do anything for 10 bucks. Okay. I have a request. Yay, Joe's chin! Ding, fries it done, ding, fries it done, ding, fries it done, ding, fries it done. I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. I work at Burger King, making flame broil whoppers. I wear paper hats. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Ding, fries it done, ding, fries it done, ding, fries it done, ding, fries it done. I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. Don't touch the fries in hot fat, it really hurts bad, and so do skin grafts. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Wait for the bell. Can't hear the bell. Where is the bell? Wait for the bell. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. All right. Guess who just wrote ten facts you didn't know about Jerry Seinfeld? Is one that he's Jewish? Guess who just wrote nine facts you didn't know about Jerry Seinfeld? He likes classic cars. Guess who just wrote eight facts you didn't know about Jerry Seinfeld? You probably said he was Jewish a second time. All right, new article. One fact you didn't know about Michael Richards. You can't use that word in an article. And I will find a new show to write about. Oh, this is great! I feel so alive! Come on, ladies, kick your high heels off and get moving! You guys are a disgrace! Peter, this doesn't seem safe. Yeah, I'm afraid I might. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Thanks, Spider-Man. Everybody gets one. Tell him, Peter. Uh, apparently everybody gets one. Bingo. There it is. Warm cuts. Like cold cuts, but warm. A million dollar idea. Warm cuts? That's dumb. If it's so dumb, how come we're pitching it on Shark Tank? Now, when we first started warm cuts, it was just a gross idea. But this year, we're on track to get sued for twelve and a half million dollars. That's quadruple the projections. You know what? I like your product, but more than that, I like you guys. I'm in, and I'll give you exactly what you're asking for. $100,000 for 10%. What do you say? Does anyone other than Robert have an offer? Well, I fixed the power line, but the town zoning laws prohibit building a pool back there. What are you talking about? It's my yard. I'm sorry, but your house is too close to the curb. Oh, yeah? Well, your eyes are too close to your nose. Well, that may be, but you know what? I only have to wear one goggle when I go swimming in my pool. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Come back here. What? I have to draw you. You're why cavemen painted on walls.